One of the mistakes that we see people make, a lot of guys would want to physically hang their camera on this tree so they could watch this whole entire trail. They're able to get longer movements and the camera is going to get more photos, but it is exactly the opposite. So if you know anything about PIR sensors and sensors that are used, PIR sensors that are used in trail cameras, they struggle with head-on movement. So anyone who's been running trail cameras for a long time has probably picked up on this, or if you haven't, there you go. Um, there's a tip we if we were to monitor this trail we would actually hang this camera on this tree you would be actually monitoring exactly what you're seeing now you would have that trail coming through the camera frame or the t detection area horizontally allowing that sensor to that pir sensor to work much more efficient in in the way that um, it's designed to work